Hi, I'm Julie Hassan and you're watching EDTV. What could be better for entertaining on a hot summer day than a nice big pitcher of old-fashioned lemonade? Nothing as far as I'm concerned in my book. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make that lemonade and then I'm going to show you something special. Now to make the lemonade you need fresh lemons. You need about four to six because you want to get a cup of fresh lemon juice from it. And really fresh lemon juice is important for it because that will give you your best lemonade. So you, uh, you can do any kind of juicer. You can do an old fashioned reamer. I have this little electric one that I've had for a long time. I'm just going to squeeze the lemons. So like I said, however you do it is fine. Then you need a big pitcher. In the pitcher you're going to mix, and you can find the recipe on our website, everydaydish.tv, some really hot water. Actually, I'm going to add my sugar first. So I have some organic sugar here, so I'm going to put that right in. And then I'm going to mix in really hot water. Make sure that your pitcher is oven uh, heat proof, not oven proof, but heat proof. And the reason you're mixing the really hot water with it is because you want that sugar to melt. And I like the organic sugar just because I think it's a little bit healthier and it's, it's what I like to use. So mix that together. Once it's dissolved, we're going to add our, um, <laughs> there we go, my measure cup. We're going to add in our lemon juice. Get that off. So I'm going to add in a cup of lemon juice. Just a cup, there we go. And pour that in there, stirring really well. And you won't have little sugar crystals on yours like this does. And once that's stirred, we're gonna stir in our cold water. And then you get this great pitcher of old fashioned lemonade. Now of course you're gonna want to taste it and you might want to doctor it up a little bit. To, so if you like yours a little tangier, you could add a little bit more lemon juice. If you like it a little sweeter, you could add a little bit more sugar. But, so really do it to taste. But to me this is like the perfect lemonade. End all be all. Now we have our lemonade. But I'm gonna show you a little twist on it that I like. Strawberry lemonade. So you can use fresh strawberries that you're going to puree, or you can use frozen thawed strawberries, which is what I have here. There's really not a specific amount. You just want to have a dish of the puree because you're going to add it to taste. And I like to use a stick blender to blend it up. But you could also use, sorry, here we go. You can also use a regular blender if you wanted to. So here we go. <laughs> Perfect. These really are so great for jobs like this. Okay, so then you have your lemonade. You're going to add your strawberry puree to taste. So what I like to do is I like to use old-fashioned canning jars. They just look really pretty to serve lemonade in. I fill it up with ice and a straw. And I'm going to add in some lemonade. Then you spoon in some of the strawberry sauce. This is so good and you can do it with other berries as well but I like it with the strawberry so I'm going to add in a couple spoonfuls stir it around. Okay look. Great color. Isn't that pretty? Then you want to take it another step further. Sparkling water. Now I made this in the soda club which is a home soda machine that we have but you could use it with you know just use regular soda or seltzer water and you top it off. Then you have a sparkling strawberry lemonade, which is unbelievable. So now if you're going to do this, if you're going to uh, put it out for entertaining, what I like to do is I like to put a pitcher of the old fashioned lemonade, then lots of canning jars out in straws. I have a, I'll have a little pitcher of the strawberry puree and then a bottle of the seltzer water and everybody can customize their own. It's so much fun. It's a great party. Kids love it. Adults love it. And hey, for the adults, you can even put a little shot of vodka in there. It's great too. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm Julie Hassan. The recipe can be found on our website, Everyday Dish TV. I'll see you soon. Mmm. Don't make lemonade.